Welcome back, and it's so good to have you with us here on WKYT. Good coaches can leave their mark on the lives of their players, and often the lessons are much more than just the sport that they're coaching. Author David Buchanan is here to talk about his new book, Black Shoes and White Shoe Strings, Football and Life Lessons from Old Coaches. Welcome. Glad to have you in here. Hey, thank you all for having me. First of all, what led you to the point, as busy as you are as a coach, to yes, writing sir. a book. Well, uh, I, I realized along the way that, uh, you know, it was sort of specifically Chuck Smith, when he was coaching at UK, and he and I are good friends, and people were always asking me, what's Chuck say? And I, I, I sort of came to the realization that people, for whatever reason, they really like to hear what these old coaches think, what, what they've said, those old stories. I started writing a column for the Ledger Independent, and those columns were so well received that they ended up putting them into a book, and, uh, and that's gone well, too. Uh, you know, it's, I've got great material because these old coaches are very entertaining and, uh, and fun to write about. They provide that great, inter yes. that great yes. material. Then, yes, What about the title? What does it mean? How did you come up with that title? Well, uh, when I was growing up, that's what all these old guys wore. And, you know, if you see the old clips, you know, when NFL films, sort of their heyday, the late 60s and so forth, that's what all those old guys wore. That's what the guys wore when I was growing up and just sort of a visual image. In fact, one of my buddies from high school, he said he knew from the title what it was about before he got to the rest of it because that's just sort of that image you had of those yeah. old guys. Who are some of the coaches that you talk about? Well, uh, a lot of them, you know, that are friends or I've uh, been in contact with, uh, as I mentioned, Chuck Smith, who's back at Boyle. Larry French, my high school coach. My dad, John Buchanan, who's at Boyle and Mercer. Uh, Mike Archer, who's at uh, UK. Uh, Bill Arnsparger, Blanton Collier, a couple of UK guys. Uh, Still Harmon, uh, who works with the Fellowship of Christian Athletes. My old college coach, Joe McDaniel. Uh, a lot of Danville guys. Uh, Sam Harp, uh, Shadon Brown, Tom Duffy. Ed Rall, Alvis Johnson, but a lot of local coaches and then other coaches that have had an influence on me. How has coaching changed in terms of the kind of expectations you can have of, uh, of, the, of the players now? Well, uh, I, I still think you can get your guys to play hard, uh, but I, I think you know they've got to more and more understand why you ask them to do what you do. And, and I do think, too, culturally for, for all of us, uh, you know, we're, we're, we become more of an I society, and the hardest thing every season is becoming one football team. And I think that's more of a cultural thing. Uh, you know, that I think is a part of it. As far as expectations for a coach, you know, it doesn't happen as much around here, but it does some. Uh, you know, people see coaches at the college and NFL level getting fired for a poor season. I, I see more of that happening now in the high school level, and uh, which would be fine. You know, if you, if you get the, you know the resources, but you know, sometimes those don't always match up like it does in the NFL and college. Where can people get the book? Uh, there, we, I have a blog spot. Uh, mm -hmm. If you Google my name and black shoes and white shoe strings, it'll pop up. And on that blog spot, there's a lot of information and, and stories that are tied to it. So I think, you know, regardless, I think people would find some information to be useful and helpful. Okay. Very good. Thanks for coming. Hey, Appreciate thanks it. for having me. I